friends welcome back uh myself prakash narkade and you are at the cicd for automation testers course uh let me talk about some of the commonly used docker commands which we needs while uh getting our selenium images and um, r- running them okay so let us see uh, okay so let me so where you will be running your command you will be running your command into the command prompt or your linux terminal or maybe windows powershell you have many options for that okay so i'll be running it on my command prompt okay so the very first thing is uh, docker hyphen help okay so this is the great place where you can get a help okay so here you can find a list of all the commands whatever commands supported by a uh, docker okay attach build commit events exec images import kill load login logs okay pull push everything so you can find information about all the commands over here okay so let us say if you want any specific information like about docker uh run if you want information about docker run command then you can give docker run hyphen help okay okay docker run uh, double hyphen help so you can give uh, you can get all the information from here okay what are the parameters it need and wh- what it should be okay so likewise okay so now the very first thing what i said is if, if you want to download the images my, where are my images my images are present on docker hub okay so if you want to download the images from docker hub what do you will give you will give docker pull and then your image name like last time we had wordpress okay so that is a uh, your docker pull we have something called as docker push which is used to upload the image to docker hub okay so if you want to use this uh, upload upload functionality your uh, this command prompt should be authenticated to docker hub by using your credentials this is what no uh, i'm not going to do it now because we are not going to create any uh, containers that is i'm not going to create any images okay but what we are going to do we are going to use the ready made available images because what my image my aim is just to run the selenium test cases on uh docker by using different selenium containers okay so now uh let us say if you have downloaded some docker images already in your machine then you can just use this command docker images which will give you the list of all the docker images which are present in your machine so i just did docker images you can see what and all i got i got selenium node firefox debug selenium node chrome debug and selenium hub okay so these three things we will be needing now okay so to get these three things what you can do is you can just go to this uh, docker hub and you can just search for selenium okay so just browse for selenium and look for something called as selenium hub okay because here you can find different images because anyone can create the images and upload it based on his need okay but what we need is we need selenium hub by selenium okay uploaded by selenium because here you can see some docker selenium dart uploaded by someone but i i just want something uploaded by selenium i want selenium hub uploaded by selenium so i'll just click on it and here you can find the command okay how you can get it docker pull selenium slash hub okay so if you just copy this command and if you just give this command over here docker pull selenium okay uh, that might not be public i want docker pull selenium hub okay so let me just get it docker pull selenium slash hub okay and you can see using default tag that is the getting the latest version and here you can see i am pulling the pulling from selenium hub okay so mine uh, selenium hub i already had selenium hub but that might not be the latest version so that's the reason it is getting the 
latest things from selenium hub okay so let it get finished okay so what and what next command i have i have docker history and i have docker logs if i want to find out logs okay let it uh, finish okay so here you can find uh, now the download is completed it is extracting the files and you can see the pool is getting completed okay so the downloaded newer version of selenium hub okay i already had but it was the older one so now my latest version of docker pool uh, sorry uh, selenium hub is downloaded so if i just do download uh, docker pool selenium hub again it will just check and it will say you are using latest version already okay images up to date for selenium hub latest okay now again if i do docker images i'll get docker hub which is this is my latest one with this image id okay so each docker has its image id okay so now i want to delete this image okay because this is obsolete image okay ideally it should replace but it has not replaced okay so for that purpose we have some command to remove okay and what is that to delete the container we have docker rm and to delete the image itself we have docker rmi okay so so uh, this is my image id okay so let me just copy this image id okay and what is my command my command is docker rmi and this okay so what it has done is it has just untagged this uh, selenium hub and it has deleted now if i do docker images I should get only three images okay because we have one deleted already okay uh, so what else we have we have uh, docker execute to execute the container to run the container uh, we have docker stop docker start we have docker run to run the images we'll be talking about docker run in some time then we have something called as docker locks okay so let us see what happen if i use docker locks okay so i'll just get this image id and here docker locks and my image id and you can see no such a container because it is not started yet it is just a image okay so if you want to see what and all uh uh, running containers are there in your machine then you can use this command docker ps okay docker ps it will show you the list of all the running containers but currently you do not see anything none of the container is running if containers are running then you will be seeing some list over here of your containers but currently no containers are running okay so what else we have we have docker history docker diff but we cannot get anything with that as of now okay so there are many command as i have shown you you can you can go to github slash uh, you, you can go to this github uh, url and you can find a docker cheat sheet over there but the best source is docker hyphen help okay from here you can get a all the helps whatever tags whatever commands whatever all the associated tags with it you can get tags uh, you, you can get all the information okay so we will be talking more about this docker commands in my coming sessions okay so that's it for this video uh, in my next session i'll be talking about how you can install selenium grid on your machine on your docker machine and how you can use it okay so that's it for this video thank you